we're here in Manhattan. We're in New York City. We're here with bands, and we're doing an anti-art show with Dennis McNett, Wolf Bat. We got kids printing up their own boards, doing their own custom stuff. Well, it looks like we have a junk jam set up. They just found a bunch of garbage on the street, and we're going to shred it in this little plaza. And we got the stage right there. So, I mean, once the kids get here, we'll see the whole freak out. And I don't know, just moving junk around and skating. And thanks to Wolf Bat for fucking being out here and doing this for the kids. And thanks to Vans, too. Lodge Gallery in Lower East Side in Manhattan. It's the second showing of the anti-hero graphics I've done to date. We've got 22 graphics, the boards, the blocks, and the prints. I just look at the Wolfbat character as a metaphor. You're a Wolfbat. These people are Wolfbats. The gods are the corporations, the banks, everyone that's trying to like keep you from being who you are and being alive. So in a sense, the whole day is about a wolf bat. When I, when I grew up, like all we, all we did was skate. Like I was inseparable from my board. And I was so into the graphics, like Thrasher Magazine, like we would huddle around it like it was our Bible. But later I got into, I got, you know, I hit hard times. I got like into drugs and stuff and I hit bottom. And for about eight years, like I was out on the street and I was doing all kinds of crazy shit and I was homeless. And well, when I got clean and got introduced to um, uh, normal living again, I picked up art. And I just, gra I just held on to it and I just made stuff like, like I used drugs, just all out. And, and it, but it was frustrating for me living here because like when I went to art school, all the kids, were, all the, my peers were saying, oh yeah, I'm influenced by this and I'm influenced by this and they're referencing an art history book. But I'm like, no, I was influenced by Pusshead, Portland Johnson, skateboarding, Thrasher Magazine, punk rock. That's what I was inspired by. So I had a hard time. In the end, I just kept doing what, what I knew, you know, and what I loved doing. And eventually, I got invited to put a print in a show at KCDC Skate Shop in Brooklyn. Amy Gunther bought the print, gave it to her friend, but the next thing I know I got an email from Antihero, do you want to do a series of boards? And I was like, get the fuck out of here. Like to me, that was like a show at the Guggenheim. And I don't know, everybody doesn't get that, but to me that's what that was like. Especially coming from and surviving what I survived, and then being able to do what I'm doing now, I'm just grateful, man.